Hi there, I'm Ed Mika, and in this video we're going to be converting the uh, FD, original FD um, breech lock mount uh, 120, uh, 135 2.5 and 135 2.5 SC. Uh, both conversions are similar, but you need to make sure you order the right kit. Um, it's to convert them from the original FD mount and to change the mount out and make it work for the modern EF bodies and these lenses are great because there's no interference with any of the modern mirrors including the full frame large mirrors so um, to start for this conversion you will it's very important that you get yourself uh, order probably on eBay a JIS cross type screwdriver 00 I like the Moody brand it looks like a Phillips but it's not uh, and you have a much better chance of not stripping out any of the screws if you use this. Um, for the non-SC version, you're going to need a good small um, flathead screwdriver. Uh, if you don't have a small enough one, you can always um, <coughs> sand it down and make it thin enough to fit. Um, I recommend using um, metal calipers because this, uh, this conversion will require an unscrewing of a rear element. Uh, if you don't have metal calipers, you may be able to get away with using uh, scissors to grab the points and twist with the and turn with the scissors or even tweezers. Um, and also, I recommend tweezers for for one portion of it. And I also, if not tweezers, you can also use a toothpick. So I'll show you uh, how to do the conversion with both lenses. Now it's important to pick the right kit. The 135 2.5 and the 135 2.5 SC, they're similar kits. Uh, they both come with an edge mount and an edge shield. Uh, and they also come with replacement screws, uh, four screws, three that you need and one spare. But the uh, SC version comes with an edge bushing and ed link that looks like this. And the, um, the non-SC comes with a, a, a much smaller Ed link that looks like this and I will show you how they mount on these uh, in this video. Now the first thing you do um, is you need to remove this rear lens element. So I rec again recommend using this caliper. But this is also where you could use scissors as well. But it takes a lot of force to at least get it going and the caliper is the best tool for the job, even better than the normal proper spanner wrenches that are designed for this. The caliper has sharper points. And before you do this, just make sure that it's as far out as possible so it's easy to access. Just remove that part for now. You'll be putting it back in, but you need to remove that to be able to get the mount off. The next step is you use your JS cross point screwdriver. And unscrew the three screws. To get access to them, you need to press this button down and then that'll turn. Now carefully lift this up. the old mount. Now this is the instructions for the SC version. We're going to be attaching the Ed bushing to this location here so that we can control the aperture. Now it's also important right now to note a lot of people have a problem where they make this go too far and there's a button here and that's the shark fin there. If you move it too far the button falls behind it and then you need to rotate it, you need to push 
the um, the button back out and rotate it back. So just don't push it too far. Uh, but if you fall for the button behind the shark fin trap, that's how you fix it. So for this one, I'll sh now, now this is how the instructions are different between the SC and the not SC. So for the for the SC, you remove this stop. Now don't lose these screws because these screws you will use again to attach the head bushing. So now you need to assemble the head bushing. So the head bushing, um, it sits in sits like this so it, it, it uh, you need to push the you need to push the the, the ed link into the ed bushing down on this side make sure you get it on the right side now this is pretty tight sometimes you can, might use my hand but sometimes you can use pliers but you just need to make sure that this one goes all the way in which it did the next step is you line the ed link up with the Goal post. And you can see the holes are lined up. And now you reuse the original screws. To connect the aperture control ring with the head link and bushing combination. At this point, you have aperture control. Um, now I will show you um, how on the S, on the non SC version, so that's the SC, on the non SC version, there is no attachment near the top. So you need to, further down inside, there is uh, two flathead screws and a small plastic spacer. You need to use those to attach this small ed link. And this ed link, what you'll do, this is where the toothpick comes in handy. You can, uh, Break the toothpick off and jam it in the hole so that you can access it. That's one way to do it. Or you can use tweezers. Careful. That's the diaphragm right there. The aperture, you don't want to be dropping anything into it. So be very careful with it. So this is where first you unscrew. The flathead screws and again don't lose them you'll be reusing them and you take the plastic piece out you don't need that anymore this is where You line up the ed link and the screw holes and you make sure you capture this leg and then you reattach the original screws.
Now we have aperture control on the non-SC version. Now the rest of the conversion is the same for both. So we're going back to the SC version here and all that's left to do is take the head mount and you'll notice there's a, a flat, there's an empty space from here to here and that needs to match this. So this empty space matches this. Line the holes up. What's going on here? Okay, I forgot a very important part. The reason why I couldn't get the mount on is there is an auto aperture uh, stop that you need to remove as well. There's a little spring as well, and I, you could take it out with your finger. That's the spring, and then there's a small pin. And you can just take it out like that. You can't put the mount on unless you remove that. Now, there we go. Line the holes up and use the screws that I provided instead of the originals. The originals will not fit should be four screws. One is a spare in case you strip ahead or lose one. doesn't need to be too tight. As soon as you feel it contact, just do another quarter or half turn maximum. Okay, uh, and one thing you absolutely have to do here is you've got to put the uh, the rear element back. This is where you will again use the caliper. You can do this before you put the mount on if you like. It doesn't really make a difference. And that's it. You now have an EF body. So there's a notch there. You can see that notch is the old red dot that lines up with that. And you now have the very nicely made 135 2.5 SC or S or non SC, and it will work on EOS full frame bodies with no issues. The image quality is very nice and the build quality is fantastic. Thank you very much. Check out my other videos for other conversions and edmika.com for sales.